To start, please open up the package and verify that the item is complete. Shown are all of the parts that you should have. To start assembly, you grab the main body of the pool cleaner and the dive float restrictor ring. This piece snaps on near the base of the two tubes, where you will see a U-shaped indent. Make sure you hear it click in completely. Next, you want to take the roller bumper strap and on the bottom side of the main body, you will see two holes that this slides into. Click the bottom in place and then repeat near the top. Make sure all of the parts click in. Next. You want to take the pleated seal, making sure that the ridges are facing up, and sit the pool cleaner on top of it. Once you have part of the seal over the lip of the main body base, turning it will allow it to easily slide into place. Please be sure the full ring is within the grooves of the cleaner base. From here, you would want to start with the male slash female hoses on the top of the pool cleaner. Push the hose on as far as you can get it, but do note, this will not and does not need to go all the way to the rim of the main body. At this time, you are going to want to use your first hose weight. Keep in mind that the weights are based on the depth of your pool. If your pool is only 3 feet deep, then you would only need the one weight. Place the first weight about halfway up the hose. This weight can be adjusted later if needed. Attach the first one, and if your pool is 6 feet deep or greater, then you would attach the next hose weight approximately halfway down this first hose. The next hose would have the last available weight, only if the pool is 9 feet deep or more. The calculation on the weights needed is based on every 3 feet of depth in your pool. We include weights to cover you for up to 9 feet in depth. However, if you have a 12 foot depth or more, you would need to purchase additional weights separately, which are readily available online or at pool supply stores. Each weight placed should be sitting in the middle of their own hoses in succession. Once you have the hoses attached, you are going to want to make sure that you have only enough hose to reach the far end of your pool without excess. To do this, the simplest way to measure is to take the cleaner and place it on the furthest end of your pool. Keep the cleaner completely out of the pool when sitting it down. Then, you take the hose and bring it over to your connection point, either the dedicated vacuum line or the skimmer, and remove any hose lengths that are past the point of the connection. Next, you want to attach the automatic regulator valve. This is preset to halfway on the resistance, which is where you should start. If your pump is 2 horsepower, then you may want to adjust the springs down in order to allow more water to flow through the regulator. And if the pump is 3 to 4 horsepower, then you can move the springs up to make sure the full suction is coming through the cleaner. You need to figure out if you have a dedicated vac line or if you will attach in the skimmer at this point. First, we will go over how to attach it to the vac line on the side of the pool. You can feel if you have a port that is large enough to attach the hose without the hose cone adapter on it, or if you need to have the adapter attached, go ahead and put that on the end now. If not, then please proceed with filling the hoses with water. There is two ways to fill with water, either by sticking the cleaner into the water and pushing the hose a small amount at a time into the water until you see water filled up to the end of the hose. Or, if you want it to go a little faster, stick the hose over the return line where water comes back into your pool with the pump running, and then the lines will quickly fill with water. This prevents too much air from sucking into your pump. Once the lines are filled, you can insert the cleaner into the vac line and turn the pump on if it is not already. In order to insert it into the skimmer, you want to attach the hose cone adapter on the end. This is required for this assembly either way. Remove the skimmer cover and basket and feed the hose on the skimmer port on the pool where the water pulls in. Insert the cleaner into the piping inside the skimmer. Last step is only if you have an older pool where the water flow isn't regulated by the return line. The eyeball diverter that is included is used to change the flow of water back into the pool. If you are able to insert it on the return line of the pool, then you can do this and start with the hole facing up so that the water flow does not mess up the way the cleaner moves around the pool. At this time, you should be able to turn on your pump and the cleaner should start to vibrate. If you notice anything moving slowly or not moving at all, then please check our troubleshooting video for more help with the adjustments that can be made to get your cleaner working in the most ideal way. Wrap the open end of the net with a drawstring over the white crown of the vacuum, keeping the pull tab towards you. 
pull the drawstring tight so that the neck closes underneath the white crown on the vacuum. Secure the drawstring closed underneath the vacuum crown with the included pull tab tightly. Inspect the net all the way around the vacuum to ensure the entire drawstring is underneath the crown. Verify the net is securely installed by tugging on the net before operation. 